Hi, it's Danny Lee Davis V Blog. It's two o'clock in the morning. I am very tired, but I'm gonna recap. So, uh, hi guys, if you don't know, Danny Lee Davis went to Winnipeg Comedy Festival, my home city, uh, Winnipeg, where I grew up. And yeah, Winnipeg has now got the officially the biggest comedy festival in Canada. And I did a show at a penitentiary earlier. And then um, my friend uh, from university, one of my best friends, Glenn, came and picked me up with his sister. And we went and just kind of drove around uh, and uh, caught up and did some video calls with some of our other friends across the country, which was really awesome. And, you know, my buddy Glenn had just had another heart attack. He's only 52. And he's, in the last year and a half, has now had two heart attacks. And luckily the first time they put a defibrillator in and um, his heart stopped while he was sleeping and it reset him. So, you know, it's nice to be back to visit my friends. Uh, I, uh, we have such fond memories, you know, and we're at an age where, you know, our parents are dying and some of us are, you know, conking off. So it's important to, it's nice to reconnect with my old pals. So then we went to the gas station theater, which is one of the venues for the comedy festival. And we watched the Asian show. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, I'm out of the loop as far as the comedy scene goes. You know, I've been touring over in the UK and then, you know, I don't live in LA or New York and I'm just, you know, I don't do a lot of these festivals. So I don't get to hang out with a lot of comics and I miss that. I, I, you know, but I'm also not good at schmoozing. I'm also not good at, like, right now, everybody's standing around talking. And when you're a little person, you're down, you know, and I used to sit on the armrest of my chair so that I could be eye to eye with people, but I just physically can't do that now. And so sitting on my scooter, trying to talk to people like this, it's just, you know, and my neck is bad. So I'm not really good in these types of situations anymore, but um, they had, uh, I, t I got to see, at these festivals, I get to see comics that I never have seen before. And I'm so far so impressed with the quality of comedians in Canada. Like, I've seen, and I haven't even seen that many people. But, you know, people that look so young. <laughs> I'm, um, uh, uh, Keith Jose. Uh, shit. I gotta get my book. Oh, that thought. I had to go get the festival book. Because I'm so terrible with names. Keith Pedro. Keith Pedro. Alright, so I did the show with Keith Pedro at the prison today, and then he closed the Asian show. Uh, but uh, the girl that was on was Isabel. Isabel Zotan. Zotan. Very funny, very funny, and very ethnically diverse, and uh, yeah, really enjoyed her, and she's quite awkward, um, and I, I, at later, you know, there was an after party, and I, I was hoping to talk to her, but she looked like she was leaving, so I got Glenn to go grab her, and of course that made her really uncomfortable, because she's, we ended up talking, and she explained, like, she's just awkward with small talk and talking to people, but... I'm a comic, and so I just wanted to let her know how I I see a lot of great things in her, and I think she needed to hear that because um, she thought she didn't do so well, but she really did. But we're as comics, we're really hard on ourselves, and you know we're our worst critics sometimes, and people can really get lost in their own bullshit and not read the room as well as you know. Um, yeah, so that was cool. And, uh, yeah, I got to see some, once again, some of my old pals. And so they had the after party. They had some karaoke happening. Um, and uh, now there's the after after party. And the good news for everybody is the after after party is next door to my room. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I got back to my room, and then I realized, I found out the after party's next door, so I left, I left my scooter in my room, and then I went next door, and I've been hanging out, now it's 2 o'clock in the morning, and just as I was leaving, a whole bunch of people showed up, so it's been a fluctuation of people coming and going, but, uh, 
I'm exhausted because I had to wake up at 6 o'clock to make sure my husband was up for an appointment this morning. So I need to get to bed. And uh, but So I've done two movie blogs today, and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll get editing tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, so it's May 2nd. Uh, yeah, May 2nd, Winnipeg Comedy Festival, day number... Of day number one officially of the festival for me. And it's been a good day. All right. Tomorrow I got my gala show. Gotta be. I gotta get to bed. I rushed my throat. Good night, everybody. Hope you and uh, hope you enjoyed the stories. Take care.